Hello everyone and welcome back to Rogue Trader. In the previous episode we ventured in, we, we ventured into the, the jungle with uh, Irilat, the Eldar, and we discovered that the Eldar uh, was here on this planet and they incited the rebellion against the leader because they wanted to conquer back their planet. However, something has grown wrong because the Eldar uh, uh, attacked uh, Irilat and she said something about uh, a betrayal. Also, this time I made sure that I pressed the recording and we are recording this. Before we uh, jump into this episode, I'd like to thank you uh, for supporting my channel. I see my subscribers slowly grow, which is, is awesome. Uh, thank you guys for that. And also, this is the new year. If I count my episodes correctly, this should be released on January the, the 1st. So happy new year and I'm very happy that I managed to put out uh, every uh, episode in every day in December, not, not every day in December, but since the game uh, was released a few days after I managed to deliver daily episodes and I decided I try to keep that up as long as I can. I'm still recording this in December, so I have a few days to record a few episodes ahead. And I have, will have some free time in January as well. So we can go for, for sure for two weeks in January. And after that we'll see if I uh, see that I cannot uh, keep up with the daily episodes, then I will, I will uh, uh, create a new spot uh, for this series. It was a test. Uh, for me how is it works it doesn't work out the way I wanted but it give my channel uh, a little bit of buzz so it, it's definitely worth it in, in other ways I did not expect but I know I can't produce daily videos uh, in the long run uh, currently because of my day job and other other things I have to do okay now that's enough cheese chat uh, let's get into this ep uh, uh, the gameplay and we have to move on to find the rebel leaders and first of all I want to go this when way Vex has detected something. okay maybe yeah maybe this will be the way uh, where we're supposed to go so let's go this way and explore if we can find rise to the Watch top or get left in the dust hmm interesting sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay never doubt me ah there's another part up there i always have a backup plan and do we have anything here no but we had some loot. What do we have here? Hmm, trip wires. Nice. I woke up with a feeling of wonder, as if a field of flowers was blossoming nearby. A child was saved from death. A thousand heretics were burning alive, begging and sobbing and howling. I like how she compares the two things as a beautiful uh, things. I better myself through my service. I hope something good is inside Duty that prevails. Uh, safe. Okay, we have to increase tech use. Success is the only outcome I accept. Hmm. Ergo boost. Increase the virus agility by 5 and athletics by 10. Well, can you... No, because it's not Zeno. Okay. She's got some kind of sister boots, but uh, Cassia has no boots, so 
increase her agility. Because the Seneschal has... Well... We don't have uh, uh, anybody with good uh, athletics. No, we don't. So I think we remove this from her, but she could have another boot. Let's uh, make her more, move more. And let's put this on the Seneschal, so he has better athletics, because Hendrix has a really good athletics. But, you know, it's not... It's, it's struggling with an Inquisitor, or an Interrogator, Keep your wits about you. is not something uh, I really like in our, in our current gameplay, so... The Emperor sets my path. This task should have oh. been accomplished easily. It's Lord Xenos. Wow. I didn't notice that. I thought it was demol demolitions. Okay. So the next time uh, we will check. Something nearby. The radio runes are completely illegible. Is there money to be made? Okay, so it's Lord Xenos. I have learned much in my exile. Let us not dawdle. Check what's down there. In the back of the corpse's head there is a strange narrow hole that does not look like came from any conventional Imperial weapon. A hole is like that could have been left by a thin blade piercing the skull. Yeah. The Eldar killed him. Hmm. I always keep my like options that. open. Great! Oh, rainbow necklace. And... Immediately, because she is the only one who can wear it. No! Plus 10 agility and plus 10 perception. Can we wear this one? Yes. We can use the agility bonus. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Okay, that's all we can do here. All right. Ambush. Anathema observed. Commencing purgation protocol. Let's start the battle because it is what it is. Nice one. And if we are changing... Oh, I haven't equipped her with the Maltagon. Damn. Okay, then we don't use her ability. I'll do it. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I act. 
that evil laugh is never gets God old Emperor from her. Be the fire in my heart. And to think of it, she's laughed. Uh, that's the way she compares uh, burning people uh, like uh, flowers in the garden or in, in the in the wild and and in the other hand she is very protective of children that is for the weak why i was chosen okay let's make this simple if it serves your cause put an opening there No, how about the free attack to the other? Yeah. This one, let's. I understand your attack. intent. Okay, and. It was the other your one. Cause. Lord Captain. That's Thunder Slam. Victory is imminent. Because it's free for now. But that would uh, um, trigger an attack of opportunity against her, I guess. Let's check this I out. Am a yes. A and we don't want to get attacks anymore. So let's increase for uh, no more wounds. No. Let's use this. And. And now we can upgrade our weapons. And now I finally learned what the machine speed communion means, and there are several other abilities based on that. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. It will be done. At your back and call. Indeed. Sorry. Let's mark it a spray. It personally. Let's use this ability. Um, yeah, that's not on it. Another enemy down. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. And hmm, all the injury. The injury that wasn't healed in time. It can be healed with medicine, but it requires doesn't be skip. Too many red with the characters resolve and cause traumas. Okay, but she's still fine. That's great. I'm still new to the art of exploring. Keep your wits about you. It's a demolition. Plan. Join me in prayer. The Emperor favors me today. None are better at search. I always have a backup plan. The Emperor sets Demolitions, my path. right? Yes. I better myself through my hmm. service. We found Bigfoot. Lord Zeno. Speak, Elantark. 
This message states to know over by an unknown force sometime in the distant past. Uh, has almost disappeared under the green canopy of the jungle. Oh, they are dead animals. A trivial task. A giant ravenous creature whose hide is pierced with spikes and, and, and spines. The skin around the growth is inflamed as if the protuberances have appeared recently, causing the creature pain. Okay, I think we are nearing another fight. Ah, Bogul is the man we have to speak. Oh, it's a bad way. How about talking a little bit first? Okay. The tall being in a fine long garment turns to you, their face hidden behind the blank visors of their helmet. When they begin to begin to speak, even from a distance, you feel the air around the figure grow cold. Monkey, you should not be here. Ilat strides forward, her eyes flashing. Moron, I am calling you uh, to account. You said that the uh, great danger threatening the uh, Lilithan lurked in the hearts of the Monkey, in their greed and ignorance. And all the while, another enemy was looming over this world, an enemy whose tracks you should have seen in uh, things to come. Uh, Salantra, she who serves, is threatening this world, and you hid it from us. Answer me, did you or did you not behold our greatest foe in the Lilithan's future? Did you lie to me? After uh, Irlet's words, the two tall elderly behind Muraton uh, start moving. One looks around uh, at the leader, while the other lets out a cry muffled under his visor. The rebel besides you cringe as uh, to, to the elderly's speech causes him pain. He strains to say something, but Moran makes an imperious gesture and the soldier meekly strikes him up and salutes, staring at the Xenos with uh, uh, slavish devotion. The rogue figure inclines uh, their head, and then they begin to speak. Ia, the outcast, you left the path that was set out uh, for you. You broke an uh, unknown monkey to, the, uh, to a refuge, and now you speak to me with unseemly anger. Your long wanderings uh, far from uh, Kodak have uh, altered your mind and tainted your sight. Hmm. I, I leave, leave them speak for now. My wanderings are the path I have chosen for myself. Far from the walls of uh, Kodarak, I have seen and come to know things that no other other, other Eldar could hidden away in a craft for uh, their entire life. Why do you deny my words about uh, Salem Trash? It's because you're lying to me and my kin when you showed us the true path. This Alantak was the first person to discover the coming of uh, Salem Trash. One who, one those who the monkey call uh, Chaos Gods. Without him, I would still uh, be deceived by your words about destiny and the, and the true future. Monkey reveling path, it's ludicrous. Monkey bring pain and strife in all time and, all, uh, and for all time. How can you trust the monkey after what we taught to you? After hearing the sorrowful song of the dying world, Moron turns his head towards you. It was not a chance that broke uh, uh, Kordak down. Monkey destroyed our ancient haunt, stripped us uh, of our defenses, doomed us to wander amidst the cold stars. The colors of the Xenos are painful to behold, but there is uh, just as much pain in their heart. Or could it be fear, despair? I cannot tell the hues are too strange, too up. Cassia flitches and uh, a triplet of blood runs down her cheek.
I'm sorry to hear that your home was destroyed, but I wasn't there and know nothing of this calamity. Moran gazes uh, at you intently. If these words had come from an, uh, an Eldar, I would have believed them, but you are a mere, merely a monkey, a plaything of uh, your own passion. Any emotion that takes hold of you, of your soul, can drive out all trace of reason and uh, honor. You are playing with words and avoiding the question. Notes of uh, desperation and rage are creeping into Eva's voice now. The Lilatan is under threat from the, our eternal foe, and yet you are more concerned about the presence of the Elentak that, that the corruption that is flowing through the veins of this world. Did you never consider that your war might simply be hastening a sudden unrest triumph? Perhaps the ruler's servants in their efforts to protect her will resort to more and more instruments of corruption. Moran leans down over Irlet, uh, his tone menacing. You left uh, Kudarak in our darkest hour to, grat to gratify your ego. You came to us on the Litan and I accepted you as one of our own. I even gave you a real purpose. He healed the outcast. And you dare to insult me, a farseer? It was a mistake to let you into our circle. You have turned our efforts to survive into dust with your own hands. I am a child of a Syrian war, I'm not a plaything in the cold hands of fate, which you claim speaking through your mouth. My choice of path is no worse than yours or any other Eldars. And my path calls me to fight our two enemies, not educate the monkey. If it comes to it, I will stand with them, for, th uh, for this Elantak can see what you are blind to force here. Here that eyes are alight with fury, she pointed uh, she pointedly lays her hand on her weapon, looking away from the farseer. Okay, I'm not against... Uh, hmm... Let's tread here carefully. So, uh, uh, as on a personal level, I would be not against to have uh, an alliance with the Eldar. However, if they see something and think of something, they can totally change their, their behavior. Like uh, how Irilat doesn't tell us the, truth, the, the whole truth about everything. I think this is the better choice from the two, because uh, I will uh, offer help that might they might interpret that as an insult. But I just said if I'm willing to fight against Lanesh, I didn't say I want to help them out. But maybe they can see that we have a common enemy, and and if we are not became allies. We can just leave each other alone for the time being. However, she still hasn't acknowledged the threat. Yeah, that's also also a, a good one. My duty is to protect my world and my vassals. If John is being threatened by the archenemy, I will fight to the end. The words of uh, the words of a creature whose will is ruled by momentary whims. There is nothing you can do to make me believe in the strength of your convictions. Yeah, if this world is in serious danger, there is no sense in fighting each other. Let us deal with our common enemy together. Yeah, and then, then we can fight at each other if we if we really want to. The name of that danger is Monkey, and I will see to it that the Leotan is purged of the was dealing her face, defiling her face. Then again, there is one way uh, to prove to me. That the monkey truly do care about the well-being of uh, their captured world. Eliminate the ruler of the monkey, uh, uh, Soyoring, 
on the religion and requires the governing of this world to me and my kin. The Lilatan herself is stand as a, a surety of our agreement. As will your uh, compat compatriots who live on it. Lilatan herself is stand as a surety of our agreement. And the profit that you will gain by healing the maiden, uh, tiling the maiden world, Bron heals her head to the side. Our human helpers will replace the leaders of the monkey. We will be the ones who govern Lilatan from the shadows. Hmm. The verse may guarantee that the planets and its inhabitants will be safe. You have the word of a child of an Assyrian who venerates life far more than any of you. What is uh, more, Monkey, I have not the slightest desire to inflict harm upon Lilaton, uh, the land of the elderly ancestors. Muran says nothing for a few moments and ends mockingly. I suppose my demands can be considered a gift for the likes of you. You could not wish for anything better than uh, elder stewards to rule over Monkey without bloodshed. What have you done to these people? They believe you are their commanders. The monkey believe they are serving fellow members of their tribe. Their wise and noble chief, my gift is potent enough to ensure that the monkey hiding in these forests see us as humans rather than children of the Asurian and see your primitive structures rather than traces of our kind. Hmm, now I don't really like that. I know. I can understand why he did it. Hmm. I don't want any more blood, neither yours nor ours. You have my permission to take anything you can have to you. We shall do things another way. I shall grant my protection to the, this form of alliance between Xenos and Lipizetins of humanity. Together we shall destroy Vistenza and her associates, and, the, and then humans and uh, Eldar will flourish on Janus under my patronage. Yeah, let's do this. Because if they are uh, controlling things from the shadows, sooner or later uh, someone will find out. The Inquisition will find out and then, then they might eradicate the whole planet. That could still happen if we... But if we are in the the loop uh, we can save the uh, we can prevent that happening the statement predicting future success is fallacious security dogmas are based on extensive uh, statistical data on conformations with xeno races and there have been zero cases of successful coexistence well I guess we have to try. This Moran stares at you for several seconds. At last, he says, "An alliance." That is how you interpret what I said. Then again, if you prefer uh, that word, let us call it an alliance. We will protect the Levitan, but we will do so without violence. We will work for the interest of our race and our work through trusted. Monkey, while we will remain in the shadows of the forest, this will be safer for everyone. If the Lilatan remains in our, uh, in our charge, I am willing to come to an agreement. We will not lose another kinsman and we will be able to tend to this world which has suffered so many years under humanity's yoke. As regards the ruling monkey, Moran makes a strange gesture uh, and the other behind him take off running into the forest. We will help you. The rebel nods in satisfaction. That's good, that's good. Our commanders should stay in charge, they know what to do, they know what is best, what pleases the God Emperor. He speaks the last word in a barely audible whisper, wincing as if the pain from a splitting headache. 
Gilead gives you a long uh, studying look. Wait, Alentag, before you leave this uh, forest forever. Take me with you to the distant suns. The tale of the children uh, of the Asurian on the Lilton is coming to an end. But somewhere out there among the cold stars of the cosmos that, you, uh, that your kinds call the expanse, there are others, deprived of home, lost, suffering. Here shuts her eyes uh, and weeps with her finely sculpted features. We can help one another, Ellen Tuck. You will be my uh, wings and I would uh, I, and I would spear. And your voice of reason should enco uh, uh, encounter my team. Mm. Ah, okay. I didn't understand it the first read. If that is still not enough, Irla thinks of a moment and continues carefully. I promise you a wondrous reward, Ellen Tuck. The treasures of my work hidden in the vastness of such an uh, an in space in exchange for the the rescue of my kin. If you remain true to your word and do not go back uh, on our covenant. to add a Xenos to my retinue. Welcome, welcome. Well, Antalak, Alentak, Rakan, yes, I am tired of uh, uh, titles and designations. My own and others, since your path lies beyond the limits of the Lilatan, I will go with you to search for others of uh, uh, my kind scattered among the stars. Perhaps they will greet me more warmly than this brood. And remember your promise, Alentak. We will leave the Lilatan, it will be, be to go to the distant stars. Moran saw them in his, in his visions and they sang mournful songs about the fate of my people. And I will fight beside you until the song of the stars turns into a funeral lament. Oh, we have a quest. Word Shapers. Agree, the governor is waiting for you at her estate with news of the rebels' fate. Okay, we will have shocking news for her. And. Classified information. The bridge creator once belonged to Thodor Von Pasco is sure that it can be used to equip the discover. Out as one of the ship's fuel fevers in poor state, inspect and diagnose the problem. Wow, I didn't know about this quest. Okay, other in distress. Prior to the fall of Kadorak, some of the other fled the craft world in hopes of finding salvation. After spending centuries in, in isolation on their watch rise on the far seas, the Xenos survivors were robbed of their life. They knew and found themselves in an unfamiliar and strange world. The Coronus expense could prove to be too harsh a place for the uh, for these lost souls. On his travel, the Rotary may encounter uh, Eldars who fled Crudalak uh, and now find themselves in dire states. Ilet has promised to reward the Lord Captain should he manage to rescue them. Okay. So we will searching for Eldars. I really like this quest. And we will do it, but before. We upgrade ourselves. Oh, that's nice. Characteristics. Hmm. Let's keep pushing the ballistic skill. We are a sniper after all. And... I want this. Only le level 22. Okay. So we can have that. That's okay. Uh, 
then we have a pretty good ah tech we need to uh, increase our tech use Hmm. Maybe agility or more dodge or she's already a pretty good shot. Intelligence would increase the Lord Zenos. Perception. Wow. That's a really high perception. That would increase the awareness as well. And the agility. The demolition and dodge. Well, I think uh, with Irlet we should go on the route of dodge. I don't know how much uh, uh, elder equipment we will find. Okay, the sun is shall. He is our fellowship guy. So he's got a good weapon skill, toughness, so let's increase the fellowship. Okay. Our dear sister. Hmm. Ballistic skill. We need a good ballistic skill with her. He also, uh, hmm, maybe intelligence. Because that increased logic. And he is our logic guy. But having a very good ballistic skill also helps because he can be a beast. So let's increase the ballistic skill. And. Plasma weapon expert. Plasma weapon attacks gain plus two maximum damage. And basic skill logic. Hmm. Heal or more damage. We have a good damage output, so let's increase in skills now because the skill modifiers are starting to be more and more difficult. Oh no, maybe she could be our fellowship. Yeah. Increase fellowship. Yeah, persuasion and coercion. Which is funny that uh, she got high on these skills as a mutant in the... Of course he has... Well, she has a, a, a status as well. Alright. Now, 
Let's loot the camp. First and foremost. Can we speak with Bogu? So that's what the overload of Genus looks like. Oh. Is there money to be made? Did you hope to An see elegant art made from fail. some mat uh, made material. You see no joints, no traces of fastening. Fastening as if the entire structure was cast as one. They didn't cast it, they have they have grown it. This is the raid bone. And they just freaking grown it. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Yep, we have several goods here. Which we will take. There should be one more somewhere there. Keep your wits about you. Ah, there it is. Okay, and there are two more loots. Turn to void ship from there. Oh, there's a lander here. Okay, but we will not return. We will try to get to these loots first. Okay, guys, I hear some kind of drilling. I hope it's not cannot be heard in the in the recording. Okay. Nothing is impossible for this old officer. Okay, you wounded, but we will... Oh! I did not see that coming. Oh! Single shot, burst fire. And a lot of grenades. What, what's that? Let us late with notes. Kert, I know it's been rough for you since the meeting by the ruins. First contact leaves an impression on everyone, but when I recommended you to the commander, I never thought you wouldn't have the stomach to process the truth. Think what you want, but I still your friend. I don't want anything to happen to you because of your own stupidity. I saw your bag with the packs of Nutriballs that uh, our lads brought from the settlement. And if you thought no one would notice a couple of clips missing from uh, Torban's backpack, you thought wrong. I want to give you a chance. Return the goods. You know every uh, nutri bar counts these days. Now the stuff that grows in the forest is no longer edible and we are in need of weapons more than ever. I can guess why you need all this. You want to split. Abandon or cause and go back home and pretending nothing happened. But I'm not writing this to appeal to your cons conscience. I just want to say that you're a marred man now, Kurt. After meeting the higher ups, uh, cutting and running is the worst thing you can you can try to do. They are watching those who who, you, who have seen them. They won't let you leave. Le let's talk. Just talk, uh, you and me, in private. Let me know when you are in the camp. Okay, we managed to do this. An expected result. And we need to go here. Because we left the loot here. Oh, you want to go, you damn fools. Oh yeah, because we have to climb up here.
And by the way, we have things to do. A soldier would have been disciplined for such a performance. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Yeah, after the fifth try, old man. But it doesn't matter because these injuries will be uh, cured once we go back to the ship. Oh, that would be a terrible waste to left these there. Okay, and we can return to the voyage ship from here as well. That's good, we don't have to climb down. And I, I don't know if we are returning to the void ship or to the palace. I guess it's the void ship. And I'm tempted to look into that uh, cogitator quest. Yes, we are back uh, at the bridge, so let's go to the bridge and check on that cogitator stuff. Maybe we can do something about it. Yes, because I thought it was a cogitator uh, in our room, in our study. But it wasn't. Now, let's check that quest real quick. Classified into the bridge. Which cogitator was wrong? Okay, now we have to find the cogitator. This is not the one. And we can peek with Irila. And where is Henrix? Ah, from the other spot. Good. Hmm, this is the bridge cogitator. Let's talk to Pascal. The old messiah knows all. Comprehends all. Strange messages have been appearing in the ship's log. What do you know about this error? This statement is true. Algorithmic violations have been recorded, as a result of which I twice performed an offering to the cogitators of corrected data vows and ruled out the possibility of sabotage. I hypothesize that the violation is a consequence of the discontent of the ship's machine spirits. I recommend a procedure of location of the honored spirits for the glory of the Omnissiah and the steel angels sent by him. I want to know the truth about you. The request is approved. I did conceal certain information. I was a student of Archmagus Amanaz, but I committed an act of betrayal after he sacred dogma. What did Amarant do? He fell into schism and challenged the sacred boundaries of knowledge. The blessed Amarant claimed the limits of what is permitted must be expanded because by refusing to explore certain law, we find ourselves in contempt of the seventh universal law. 
Comprehension is the key to all things. My mentor put forth a thesis claiming that we have stagnated, that ritual is now nothing but a cage for souls and false worship of the old Messiah. He sought to break the cycle of mindless repetition because he saw the inevitable demise of our faith and all humanity at the end of it. Certain aspects of the Imperium have indeed justified. His argument sounds reasonable. This statement is false. My mentor's words sound like heresy. Limits were established because it is dangerous to venture beyond. Each step past them could lead to a bloody slaughter, but the blessed Amanat was not afraid. How did you betray uh, Amar? The teachings of the blessed Amanat spread, and word of it reached the conclave of the Cognizant fleet. They recognized his teachings as tech heresy. Many tech priests suddenly vanished or were subjected to server penance for minor transgressions. The students of Amanat, whose number included many enlightened and respected brothers, resisted. My prognosis showed that our most likely future was a schism and a fratricidal war that would destroy the Cognizant's fleet. That was when I headed to the Conclave. I confess that handed the information about my mentor's research over to the Conclave. Brazen, anathematic studies of the Forbidden Law. The Conclave could use that data to summon Archmagos Amanat to stand trial and compel him to repent on pain of excommunicate Traitoris. His subsequent fate is unknown to me. Well, he did what he think uh, it was good and we, in the Warhammer universe, we know as a fact if you dwell into things too uh, much, you can become corrupted and horrible things can happen. So you act as a loyal son of the Imperium should. I pray that the Omnissiah grants us wisdom to overcome the dialectic differences that divide us. Why did you go to Rikard Minoris? I was summoned there by a message that was encrypted with the Blessed Amanat's personal code, and could it be interpreted in several ways. One thing was certain, we were in danger, and I had to go to Rykat Minoris. Check this main able, who is he? Assessing his personality is difficult. The spirit of Brother Abel is different from that of most people. Ten comrades of the Cog call such persons quiet ones. He possesses significant intellect, but shuns communication. So far, I have not been able to determine why Abel summoned me to Rykat Minoris, how he is related to the Blessed Amanat, or why he bears the same name as me. Perhaps Reverend Abel may not be fully able to actualize and interpret the available data. What are you going to do next? I was wrong when I assumed it was the Blessed Archmagos Amanat who assumed the guise of Abel Hanaman. But there is a connection between him and the Reverend Abel, and I intend to uncover the nature of this link. I have no more questions. Acknowledged. I will return to ruminating on the search for the Blessed Amanat. May your labors be effective and fruitful. Okay. 
So I think we should speak to every, uh, we, maybe we should speak to Idira and how she's feeling after the uh, incident. When Idira sees you, her lips curve into a smile and she knows something over your shoulder. Can you recall what from your encounter with the host, Theodora? I'm not going to lie. I haven't. Maybe I never will. But I'm not hearing random voices anymore. And I haven't been calling anyone from the other side. No. All that's done with. After what you did for me, I can't let you down again. What are you back there? We will hope for the best. Yes, sir, Lord Captain. We will. Of course. Always at your service. Whenever you need me. I think we will take Idira with us. If Jay has something to say... May the Exalted One protect you. Have you grown bored with our little talk, Shireen? Argenta seems uh, to have gotten under your skin, am I right? Argenta? What could be more beautiful than the sight of a sister of battle, whose mere presence casts light in the dark corners of lost souls such as mine? But, alas, what remains of my sanity is telling me that poor Jai can only admire the radiance of this angel, forsaking any hope of ever touching her wings. Ah, I see. Okay. Oh, I have no doubt you will. So she is interested in Argenta in a more, I just say, intimate way. Uh, okay, let's talk with Henrik. To what do I owe this visit? Oh. It would be funny to try this one, but we know we can't get rid of Henry's because uh, it's an inquisitor order that he must remain on the ship at least until we go into Kiawa Gamma and uh, resolve the code there. I don't want to uh, speak on the code right now, and maybe we should. Look, Henrik, no, we shouldn't. No, we just made an alliance with the, the Elda. No, we shouldn't take him. Okay, let's speak with Iriel. We can uh, talk, uh, wait for more part of the time to head back to jump. And this would be the cogitator. The reflection of the bridge lights are playing on the playing on the Unlit with screen of the cogitator. Next to the machine stand, a hunchback priest bows as you approach, his body nearly uh, folding in half. Or, Captain, the machine speed of the magazine slumbers. Could you wish to awaken it? Use the key of your blood. Who are you and what is your purpose? My designation is IH630. Jack Priest points his only. Macadran right at the machine beside me. The venerated engine's repair has entrusted this sacred mechanism to my, into my care. It is uh, now my duty to assist in the rope raider's understanding of the hollow code. Okay, let's do this. Place your hand. We are placing our hands in the mold. The servitor's powerful jaws close around your hand and with a screeching crack. You feel the cold metal piece your skin and draw blood. The red screen in front of you flicker uh, restlessly with numerical combinations. The tech is by the cogitator not skirt. The second mechanism is awake and ready to receive your request, Lord Captain. Have the tech priest of the adaptive mechanism been, been able to discern how the ship was able to start the warp engine? The engine surprise spends uh, hour, hours pursuing the quest for knowledge in hopes of comprehending the nature of uh, said miracle. 
May the Omnissiah's grace guide him on this journey. So the answer is no. There is no doubt that it was a miracle sent by the Omnissiah as a manifestation of his will, yet the engines of the Prime managed to perceive some logical connection between the streams of data. I am not privy to this connection, but the engines of the Prime will surely share this new discovered knowledge with you in a detailed report. Pascal has informed me that the system has encrypted data stored inside. I wish to know its contents. In yet another word, the text prints to the cogitator. He raises his hands and the prayer of binary port pours out of his locked device. The servo motors in the bowels of the machine grow louder, and its undaunting hum responding to his chant. Numerical combination run down the screens. Scanning, scanning, error express. Need to find them. The machine speed has discovered numerous particular errors. Data is damaged, the text speed stops abruptly and the green glow of his visor narrows. Registering an uh, in-text uh, segment, the machine speed has spoken. The words of Kiawa Gamma and Dargonus hold certain data repositories. The mechanisms ready to provide the rogue trader with data keys uh, can unload said repositories. What data repositories? That remains hidden. The encrypted data bank belonged to the esteemed Theodora von Balancius. She was the only one who could have known about these repositories. Perhaps the former engine I also could have known Omnissai except his code. I like that Omnissai except his code. If I were the uh, if I were to propose a hypothesis, it would be most prudent of a figure as eminent as a rogue trader to store her classified data in receptable, most secure. How do I accept these keys? The work is a bit screen blinks. Input. The gracious machine spirit is willing to transfer the keys to the head of those one balances by means of an elect to a hypodermic tattoo out uh, movement. If you are ready to accept the keys, place your hand inside the servitor's mouth. Deep within the servitor's dark bullet, unseen burning hot needles pierce your wrist, but the sharp pain only lasts a moment. The elect tool has been, uh, been planted inside your wrist. It should be enough to open the repository doors. You need to more about the caches. This uh, screen flickers rapidly into them home. Okay, text with augmented fingers dart around uh, the control panel. The Omnissiah favors you, the machine speed is willing to uh, comment the calculation procedure that could restore the lost data. Okay, let's store the data on the cache lock, uh, located on the Argonus. Machine humps louder in and it lets out a uh, resounding crackle. Then the sound stops and an unmoving numerical combination lights up on the screen. The text is synthesis is voice sounds almost uh, concept. The data has been restored, but it's only a single uh, phrase. Litanies of the move uh, OT force. That is all that the circuit me uh, mechanism was able to solve. We'll check Kiava Gamma. Some within the computer so pick up pays the heavy turn. Uh, growing louder, the machine picks uh, obviously for several minutes, but eventually a numerical code appears on the screen. The tech is turns to you. That's the only size as this. The repository on Kiava Gamma has security system guarding it. The machine speed has recovered a code that will allow you to disable the defenses. Oh, thank the swarm. That would be uh, very, very nice to not have to fight our way through uh, the, defense, uh, the defenses. And also, I have a feeling in this game you don't get experience point for defeating enemies. I have other question. Let's leave. I'm so glad we did it before we reach uh, to those planets. Let's check the journal on this quest. Yeah, it is is done okay and we have to find the caches on those planets 
Okay, now all we have left to do is to go back uh, into the planet and uh, and fight with the governor. But we will do that in the next episode because I expect uh, a long fight, or at least a hard one. So I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please uh, give this video a like, subscribe, and and comment down below. And I see you in the next one. Bye.